hey, hey, hey. Come on in, come on in. Today we are going to be doing some harvesting from my garden baby. As you can see, she's growing, growing, growing. Even though I've been snipping and clipping from her and have made about 30 or more salads from this growing season that I started in November. I started in November about a week before um, Thanksgiving of 2022. So she's continuing to grow and what I need to do is harvest some out so that I can let some of the other ones continue to flourish and just plant something different because I'm ready to switch it up a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, some of you probably remember from another video that each one of my little pods down here has the net pot in it and the seeds and the vegetation is growing out of the rock wall, right? So I'm actually gonna pop out the entire net pot that is holding the vegetation. So let me do that. And what I usually do is I take my little scissors. These scissors are used to only clip from here. I know I need my shears, but you know, educating me just makes it happen. So what I'm going to do is take, and I'm just going to gently press inward on the net pot, just to be able to get my finger in there a little bit. And once I got my finger in there, I am going to pop this right out. I want you to see this. I'm gonna gently pull up out of there. And the roots are on that, so I'm gonna bring the roots out too. Voila, look at that. And you can see the roots. You can also see where we've been cutting, we've been clipping, we've been eating, and it's still continuing to grow, grow, and grow. So today, this is gonna be a fresh salad. Um, for the family and I, we're going to have some lasagna, we're going to have a fresh salad, and we're going to have some garlic bread with it, and then we're going to put all the toppings on here. But I want you to be able to see it. Look at those roots. Now, the roots look a little short because I actually clipped them as they were growing because they grow down into the water basin at the bottom, and there's like a little pump in there. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be actually cutting those off. I'm going to have some delicious salad. So the next thing that I can tell you is now that this pod is empty right here. Let's see if I can turn it so you can see it. Let's turn it a little bit. It's on wheels, so it turns. So, let me show you. Right here, this pod, this pod is now empty. Um, yeah, and what I can do is, because my spinach is growing, 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 I've been cutting from it, I can actually take this one out and move it up but I'm not gonna move it up there today because I'm gonna harvest some more from the top, some more of the lettuce from the top, some of the baby greens, the spicy and mild greens from directly at the top, which I am going to be taking some of those today. I'm gonna to show you the difference. Right here, I'm gonna take out some of the mild greens and I'm just gonna go right inside of here and pop that right out. Look at that. I wanna be able to show you so you can see it right here because I'm actually going to put some of these uh, baby greens in the salad today so that leaves those pods open at the top and you're probably wondering why this one does not was not resting inside of a net pot because the baby greens don't grow as healthy and I mean they grow healthy but they don't grow as big per se right you can see how the lettuce got extremely big so it needs the net pot to support it but these don't get that large they just kind of grow and sprout and you pick and eat so that's why at the top is where all the baby greens go. I can put my um, other veggies at the top, but just being mindful to clip and eat a little bit more often. So we're gonna have some of our baby greens in there. We're gonna put this right over here. Now, what I will do is I will clip some more of this spinach. You can see that the spinach, the more I've been clipping it, the more I've got some new growth right in there that's growing up. This is more lettuce that's growing, but it's actually time to go ahead and clip it and take it out as well. I'm gonna start planting something else. I'm not sure what I'm planting just yet, but I'm gonna be planting something else. But I wanted to bring you in and just show you how easy it is to pop it right out, how healthy those roots are and everything. And someone had asked me, do the roots all grow in and connect and intertwine together? As you can see, when I did pull the lettuce out, it was not connected to the roots of the baby greens. They don't grow into one another. Now, is there a possibility it could? Yeah, but what you do, you just cut them apart. 
but I've never had that problem at all. So I'm excited, just want to bring you in a little bit to see what I do and how I do this. Um, yeah, and you can always ask me to share a bit more of what you would like to see, what you'd like to know more about, and I can answer some of those questions for you. But I wanted to bring you in quickly. I'm moving a little fast because I know that there's feet moving around at the, at the top of the um, upstairs and they're ready to eat. So I wanna get this salad all chopped up get the you know get the toppings for it and so everybody can come down and get a healthy meal there is nothing like being able to grow your own fresh veggies in your home um, i don't have fruit on this one i'm doing veggies on this one only because we're salad eaters we're juicers um green juice i like to drink green juice i like to make smoothies so i do a lot of greens but i just want to share with you a little bit of how that works how i do it and I'm excited to share more, but there's nothing like literally from my kitchen, it's like maybe 10 steps from here, my garden baby to my kitchen. And I'm gonna be making some fresh salad for my family. Um, we've already harvested maybe about, like I said, 30 salads or more off of this um, one growing season that I planted, started planting in November of just last year. So I'm excited that um, we have food autonomy, we control, we grow, there's no sides on it. No C-I-D-E, no herbicide, herbicides, no pesticides um, are on here. So I literally can just go over and pick off just like this and eat it. Just like that. I do eat the stems. So literally I don't have to worry about something that's on it and I have to worry about all that extra stuff. I don't. So I love it being controlled what I grow, knowing what's going on it, knowing what hands have touched it because the salads that are in the grocery store have been touched by many, many hands, been sprayed by many, many things. So they're not as fresh and as green as you see here. But I just want to bring you in and share that bit with you. I want you to stay tuned for what's gonna happen next. 